Hello everyone, welcome to NeuroSapiens. In today's tutorial, we'll look at the Python string method makeTrans. In Python, the makeTrans method returns a translation table usable for the string method translate. And the syntax here is a string underscore object dot makeTrans with three parameters, x, y, and z, where x is a required parameter. And if this is the only argument provided, it must be a dictionary or there's an optional parameter y, which is if two arguments are provided, they must both be strings with the same length. And then the third parameter z is also optional, which is if three arguments are provided, then each character in the third argument is mapped to none. So for y, each character in the first string is a replacement to its corresponding index in the second string, where z is if three arguments are passed, each character in the third argument is mapped to none. And this is a summary table that I provided here for each letter and its corresponding Unicode decimal. So for example, capital A is the Unicode decimal ordinal of 65, F is 70, etc. So we'll start off with using the parameter X, which is passing a dictionary. So we'll create a dictionary dict underscore map, which equals to the dictionary with the key D with the value durian, and then B with the value banana, and then O here with the value orange. And we'll create an empty string. And we'll print empty string dot make trans with the dictionary map. And we can see that this returns 68, 66, and 79. So each of the key letters here are now mapped to the Unicode decimal. So it returns a mapping of each key letter to its Unicode ordinal slash decimal. And we can also now introduce and use parameter Y. So we'll create two strings. F string is equal to uppercase DBO. S string is equal to uppercase ACY. We'll create a new empty string variable. And we'll print new empty string dot make trans F string followed by S string. And we can see here based on the output that each of the mapping is now the Unicode decimal. So D is mapped to A, B is mapped to C, and O is mapped to Y. So Unicode ordinal, D to A, B to C, and O to Y. Now, if the strings were different lengths, this will actually raise an error. So we'll create a new variable, S string which is equal to uppercase A, C, Y, Z, K. And we'll print new empty string dot make trans. And then pass in the two variables F string and triple S string. And this raises a value error. So the first two make trans arguments must have equal length. All right, so this value error is raised because the mapping is no longer one-to-one. -one. There is also a third optional parameter, parameter Z. So we'll create a new variable T string equal to uppercase DBZ. And we'll print new empty string dot make trans and we'll pass in all three variables. So F string, SS string, and T string. And we can see the output here. So what ha what's happening here is each letter, so D and B, the mapping is now none. And for any of the letters which were not mentioned here, this the mapping will remain the same. So in the original mapping, O to Y remains unchanged because the letter O was not provided here in T string. 
And then if there's any new characters like Z, this will be included, but the mapping will be none. So with the third parameter, B and B, mapping are now none. And the new character Z is added with none. So this is how to use the method make trends to make a translation table to be used later for the string method translate. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click the notification bell for weekly videos. Please share the video with anyone who you think would benefit from the content and comment below what topics you would like to learn. If you would like to support this channel and have the means to do so, the best way will be via my Patreon link in the description below. Happy learning and I'll see you in the next tutorial.